Hello ladies and gents. I hope that you're having a great day. So I wanted to go ahead and take a moment here and uh, talk about something that has been on my mind as of late and um, has come up again. And it is the thought that we are, as humans, broken. And uh, you probably have been convinced by some sort of social media in one way or another that you are inherently broken by something, some situation, some person, something. And I'm here to go in and let you know that it's complete bunk. Unless your head is physically separated from your body, there is no way for you to be broken. Now, there may be a change in the neurology or the chemistry that may cause a dysfunction of some type. That is more of a chemical discharge. I'm trying to go ahead and choose my words uh, smartly here because in, in reality, the majority of folks have been so deeply convinced that there is an inbuilt inadequacy of some type that you don't have the methodology to go and be totally you or that you require something else or somebody else. At the end of the day, it's you. You're the one that lives, and guess what? You're the one that dies. So there is this constitutional compartmentalization that happens through marketing that people have now gone and sold an extreme to you that is essentially feeding into your fears because when we fall we find things that are essentially not in alignment within our lives within our belief systems that's when we start to go and feel a separation uh, a separation of either from ourselves a separation from our chemistry a separation from the actual proper function it's very different than being broken, but you see that any separation that happens, even in between your joints, in between your mentalities and whatnot, they can be essentially reconnected. You can retrain yourself to, of course, get walking. You can retrain yourself to go and have better eye coordination from personal experience. You can go in and retrain yourself to do pretty much anything that you want inside of your life. And I've seen this in even people that have lost the use of certain limbs. So how are you broken? There's just no way. At the end of the day, people that have no arms have gone and taught themselves to play the guitar with their feet. People that have no legs have taught themselves to go and move around with only their arms. People that have no use of their arms and their legs have gone and taught themselves to draw and paint with their mouths. So where is the break? The break is oftentimes when we go and give up our own personal power, we give up our own abilities for a label. When you give up your personal ability for a label, for a diagnostic, for a title, you go and you sacrifice everything that you hold dear and whole that makes you function as you are. You go and then say that this circuitry that you've gone and adapted to what you are as a person is the only way that you can function. And that is where the brokenness will go and stay. So today, the real deep question is going to be, where are you looking for your peace? Where are you looking for the truth of the matter versus what is perceived to be acceptable or real in your life? Where is the whole you? And why did you lose it in the first place? Have you gone to the extremes of giving yourself the totality of what life is or have you gone and just compartmentalized and segmented yourself 
in so many directions, in so many ways, allowing experience to dictate the present moment so that you have become segmentally shattered. You're the only one with the glue. You're the only one that can say enough is enough. And at the end of the day, more than anything, I really want you to go ahead and think about this in, in a real deep way. Because it's your life, it's not mine, and it is not anybody else's. And when we go and we think about being a whole and total person, it comes with taking personal responsibility. The more responsibility we take for the condition that we're in now, the more awareness we bring to our patterns and situations, our responses and our reactions, the better we can live life and the easier we can go ahead and make the changes needed to bring about a positive change and or balance out anything that has been pre-programmed as what's needed versus what we go and dictate is now the new norm. So. Hopefully this has been beneficial for you. I know that a lot of you guys have been writing in about this. I get a lot of questions about this, especially females that have been on diets, uh, females that have been in the school system, the public school system especially. And it is one of those things that it needs to be re revisited often uh, because these ideas and concepts are actually carried into relationships and folks wonder why the majority of relationships fail it's because of the circuitry it's because of the the way that we think oftentimes is faulted and we feel like we are shattered or disjointed and we never answer those questions and we think that something like a relationship is going to go and fix it in reality, the relationship will go and accentuate what is already there. Just like money. Money is not the root of all evil. Money accentuates what is already there. So, anyways, I'll get off my soapbox on that. I'll catch you guys soon. Have an amazing day.